If you have ever built an AI application of any kind, there is every chance that you have heard of Chat Completion API. It is the API format that became the industry standard for talking to LLMs. This is what powers ChatGPT, Claude, Quen, various other models and is supported by almost every provider out there. Look at this code on your screen. This is a simple request response with a prompt. There are turns. This is perfect for chatbots. And if you're looking for turn-based conversation, works perfectly fine. Now, we have moved away from chatbots now. This is an agentic era. For agentic era, if you look at this code, the developers have started to build AI agents these are the systems that need to call tools, execute actions, and complete multi-step workflows, as you can see on your screen. But if you look at this code, it is all over the place. Text and tool calls are mixed, right? This is a prompt. This is, these are the tools. It is really hard to parse, even hard to understand and read. There is also manual tool loop, which is required, and we execute the tool and then send another request with the result. So user asks a query in natural language, LLM converts it into a tool call, and then our code has to execute or trigger that tool call and get the database back in asynchronously, and then we have to you know, chain all the tools together if that is the requirement. So no reasoning visibility. We really can't see what model is thinking. We are making multiple round trips two tools, maybe three plus API calls, context window gets huge and huge. You know, it really eats away at the tokens, which means that the cost goes up. So primarily, the problem here is that this is built for chat, not agents. And that is where this new standard open responses comes into play. And this has just been created still very early days. This is the topic of the video. Not only I'm going to unpack this in very simple words, but also I will be showing you a mock demo with Olama based local model, which we are going to use. My system is Ubuntu and I already have Olama installed and I'm running this GPT OSS model from OpenAI. If you don't know what Olama is, what this GPT OSS model is, just go to my channel, search with it and you should be able to find heaps of videos around it. There is even uh, a fine tuning video which I did some time back. Anyway, and if you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So this is a website in front of you which is openresponses.org. So this is the answer or one potential solution. So what exactly is this? It is an open source specification built specifically for this new brave era of AI agents. This is not just another proprietary API format. Open responses was initiated by OpenAI, but it is being built by the entire or most of the open source community out there. Also, Hugging Face ecosystem supports that. The key difference here is that it is designed from the ground up for agentic workflows, not chatbots. Open Responses extends the Responses API, but makes it open and accessible for everyone because it was closed uh, until now. It is vendor neutral, which means you can write your code once and run it across multiple providers, whether that's OpenAI, Anthropic, DeepSeek, Alibaba, Jaifu, Minimax, GLM, and the list goes on. But we will be doing it through local models, through Olama in a mock, or any other provider that adopts the standard. The community is actively working together to make this new standard for LLM interaction. Now, look at this workflow. This gives you the whole picture. So this is the agentic loop. So let's walk through this, that how open responses actually handles that multi-step workflow we talked about earlier. So the diagram is showing the agentic loop, the core concept that makes open responses so powerful. And I'm going to use it in my production uh, projects for the clients for sure. It starts simple. The user sends a request to the API server, as you can see, that's step one. But here is where it gets interesting. Unlike chat completions, where you would have to manually orchestrate everything, 
Open Responses has a built-in agentic loop that runs on the server side. Step 2. The API server samples from the model. The model starts thinking about the request and in step 3, it returns a sampled message. And here is the critical part. If the model decides it needs to call a tool, it happens right there in the same loop. The model can call a tool shown in step 4 where the sample tool call arguments are sent to the actual tool. Step 5 is where the actual magic happens and this is where my hopes are very very high. The tool executes and returns its result but notice we haven't left the original request yet. We are still in the agentic loop. The API server takes that tool result and feeds it right back to the model automatically. The model can then reason about the result and decide if it needs to call another tool or if it's ready to give the final answer. This loop can repeat multiple times. That's why it is called an agentic loop. The model can call search documents, gets the result, reason about them, and then call send email, get that result, and only when it's completely done does it exit the loop. Finally, in step 6, the user gets back all the output items, the reasoning, the tool calls, the result, everything in one structured response. So the key insight here is that the entire multi-step workflow happens in a single API request. No manual tool execution, no sending multiple requests back and forth. The server handles the entire agent loop for you and you get a complete structured output at the end. That's the fundamental difference between open responses and chat completion. Now let me show you a quick demo with Olama. I'm just going to go here and clear the screen. This is a script I have created with that GPT OSS model. Let me run this. Okay, sorry. Let me run it with Python 3. It's a new VM and I, I always keep forgetting. There you go. So it is going to show us that local endpoint. This is a chat completion, simple prompt, and then streaming responses. This is all we know. And then the tool call is happening. And these are the problems, as you can see, which I mentioned earlier. And this is open responses. Single API call, everything embedded in it. Nice, clean, and reduces the cost, saves the time, and makes maintenance of the code very easy. And not only that, hopefully it gets implemented. Everyone follows it. We will have more and more, uh, you know, adoption so that you know we could just get out of this uh, agentic hell which we are living at the moment. But look, let me know what do you think about it. If you are using such thing in your production, very keen to hear what exactly and how exactly you are handling it. And if you think this is a real pain point, you know, uh, maybe you know I'm uh, just not doing it right. Share your thoughts. Very very keen to learn more. That's it. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. Also follow me on X if you are looking for AI updates without any hype. Thank you for all the support.